we are here for uh, damped oscillations uh, so far we have studied about the ideal oscillations like simple pendulum the 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 oscillations of the simple pendulum or the oscillations of what we call the spring mass system they all are basically the simple harmonic motions and simple harmonic oscillations etc they follow the sinusoidal uh, or cosinusoidal paths sin or um, cosine functions so basically then ide an ideal oscillator uh, is 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 just of the form of sine function or or cos function is it may be a cos function so it may be a cos function okay so what actually happens in a damped oscillator is that um, suppose uh, there is a simple pendulum and uh, basically it is uh, moving in um, and the extreme position and the mean positions it gradually comes to rest so what are the reasons which uh, it comes to rest the reasons may be number one friction that is friction or uh, due to air or it can be due to if it is immersed in the liquid though friction or drag force or viscous force by a liquid so it can be a friction uh, another type of friction due to maybe uh, due to liquid it may be due to that so an ideal simple pendulum uh, should not comes to rest right it should be like moving moving and moving but what actually happen in a damped oscillator ram's oscillation basically a practical thing that i should that we should understand the concept of that so though basically the amplitude the amplitude of the shm decreases so how can we uh, see that uh, graphically that basically if it is a sine function then actually it it actually decreases like this amplitude is the bigger one and then the smaller one so this is known as the damped oscillator basically it, uh, is it reaches to zero approx so the, it actually reaches to zero and this is known as the damped oscillator same case we can uh, uh, understand about the from the cos graph so we will study about the damped oscillations and its equations basically it follows the second order um, homogeneous equation so we should be or i should be or you should be so uh, ready for that second order differential equation don't worry we will do it okay so suppose um, uh, for the uh, for the simple thing uh, for the simple calculations uh, suppose that i have some spring mass system so spring mass system i have okay i have the spring mass system and this is the mass of the block and this is spring uh, okay then a spring uh, there is some surrounding uh, water molecules it is in the bottom or some bucket so it will go up and down up and down like this once you stretch uh, once you uh, pull it so it will start oscillating and at at last it will comes to rest so uh, this um, uh, we will find out the equations for this this is basically a fluid any fluid or liquid liquid okay so um, first of all we will find out uh, that what is actually happening in this spring mass system first we will understand that this is the spring we will first find out the what are the forces um, basically on the, 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 the system so minus kx that is spring force and this is um, we can call is mg but but here it is a viscous it is a viscous force called that uh, um, is viscous force f viscous f viscous some viscous force is also there so we will write the equation of force how will you write the total equation equation of forces not force it's forces so we can write it as f total total is basically a f of due to spring uh, plus f due to that viscous viscous force okay 
So f total can be written as f for the sake of simplicity. F spring is minus kx and that f viscous. It is very important to know that from uh, from uh, the Stroke's law, we have actually achieved that uh, that force is um, directly proportional to negative of the velocity. So from that thing, uh, from the Stokes law, we can write it as uh, f is equals to some constant times or uh, constant times uh, or b, b be the constant, and this is b v minus b v. So we can write minus b v, where v is the velocity and b is the constant, k is the spring constant. So f total, the force is written here. The easy equations. Of the force. Okay, now we will write f uh, uh, the equation of this as uh, equation number one. So we write we, we can write it here as m a because f is m a from Newton's third law, and minus k x minus b v. So divide the whole equation by m. That is a is minus k by m, and um, x minus b by m uh, v so acceleration is this so we can write it uh, as uh, suppose suppose that uh, displacement is x suppose displacement is x so x dash will be what uh, velocity basically x dash is the derivative and x double dash will be the acceleration so velocity v acceleration a and displacement x okay this is the thing so can i write it as a as x double dot uh, equals uh, this as minus k by m x x as same minus b by m and can i write it as uh, x dot because Velocity is basically the derivative of um, the displacement. Okay, so I have written as x dash. Now, uh, rearranging these equations as well, x dash is k by m, x plus b by m, x dash is zero. So this is, uh, th there is some equation, the important equation, uh, and very beautiful equations in mathematics. In, in, in mathematics, or you can say that mathematical equations in physics, sorry for that. Okay. Now, uh, what actually we will assume is that let, for the sake of simplicity, k by m is equals to omega square. Since we know that omega is root of k by m. And uh, I'm sorry that I should uh, write it here, over here, that omega is k by, root of k by m is the angular velocity of this particular system. Okay. So I have suppose that k by m as omega square, okay, and then b by m, b by m as uh, as the uh, let let take it as gamma for this, uh, okay. Now we will write this equation as we will write this equations as x dot plus k by m x plus b by m x dash is 0 or we will write it as as assumed uh, x plus uh, b by m first okay gamma x dash plus uh, omega square x is 0 this is basically the equation and this is a homogeneous equation this is a homogeneous equation homogeneous equation okay why it is homogeneous equation? Because right at the hand side is 0. That's it. The equation equals to 0. That's why homogeneous equation. And we can do many, many things by this. That is a very important thing. That is, this is homogeneous equation. And also, it is a second order differential equation. Second order differential equation. Order differential equation. It is a second order differential equation. That is very important. The two th things I have... Um, find out from here that it is homogeneous equation and second it is a second order differential equation that means you should know uh, how to find out the second order differential equations so okay we will uh, actually summarize the way 
not will will give you a lengthy proof of that but we will try to summarize in in a shorter note we uh, so okay so what we will do here is that let let suppose let suppose suppose that suppose that um, x is equals to e uh, e power nt be us be the solution be the solution why we have suppose this as because we cannot suppose sign we have to th think trial and error type methods thinking skill is necessary from here so we can think about uh, what is called um, we cannot think about sine or cosine functions because it it will give you, if x is sine then this will give you cos and this will be give you minus sign and this will give you again sign so sign cos minus sign etc etc so these equation will not give you any good thing or solution will be more lengthy if you are good in calc um, trigonometry you can do it but it will be more lengthy so uh, try to um, try to be at the exponential be your uh, be be this uh, and assume that this is your friend in all low damped oscillations and second order differential equations because you will find out these um, exponential functions very important thing okay now uh, we will do what the derivative x dot is equals to n e key power n t okay x double dot is equals to n square e n t so these are the equations okay now put these um, things do all the three in this equation number star okay double star all those equations numbers double star okay so while putting that n square e and t uh, plus gamma n e power n t uh, plus omega square e and t okay so okay is equals to zero so we can cut this exponential that's why I have assumed that exponential because this is the best way to actually get the quadratic form and many many things and many many solution can be made from this okay n square so we can find n square plus gamma n plus omega square is zero um, this is basically we have transformed the second order differential equation to the quadratic one very important thing we have done quadratic one so this is a quadratic one we, what actually we have done the second order differential equation looks like so lengthy and hectic and actually with the help of your friend that is exponential basically we have transport into quadratic one so we can do transport um, uh, tra actually transform into quadratic by using the exponential form you should no, no, you you will be able to understand more and more after doing practices okay now we will start uh, understanding about the different different cases about this okay